So the final type of question we want to add is a matching question. So let's select matching. Give it a title. Titles are important because it enables you to search for certain questions afterwards if you've got a, they're easy to search for. No. Give it a title. Make sure it's a title that you can easily understand because when you want to search for questions later, this will be very useful. Uh, question text, match the Okay, so the answer numbering, it could be ABC. Again, we've got different ones. We can, let's leave it as ABC. Allow partial credit, probably useful in a matching exercise. So if they get two out of four, they will get half the marks. Show answers in a random order. I think we'll set that. Number of questions, we'll have four questions. Again, you can put more than that, or you can remove to have less than that, but we'll set it to four. So let's have maybe happy question B. Quiet. Question C. Big. And the last one. Hungry. Something like that. So now let's move down and put the answers in. So I think the first one was happy, quiet, big, and hungry. So happy, sad, quiet noisy, big, small, hungry, full. Once we put all that information in we can click on next. And now we need to match them up, okay. Happy, with sad, B, noisy, C, D so we've matched them up we've got A B C and D are matched up with A B C D don't worry about the order because they will be randomized afterwards um, correct response feedback well done and maybe the incorrect response hard look again we can put them in categories choose from existing let's go for grammar topics Choose from existing, maybe adjectives, levels of difficulty. Um, this would be difficult, maybe. And keywords, let's say, just sorry, opposite, yeah. We click on OK there. You can put in the structure notes if you want. Once you're ready, click on Submit. And now you can see we've added four questions here.